The camera recorded what this woman does at night with her dog. Julia was sound asleep every night, completely unaware of what was actually happening. But when she woke up feeling weak one morning, she had no idea that she had made a mistake that would change her life forever. When the dust finally settled, Julia had no clue what was happening. Everything had gone too far, and she couldn't figure out what was causing it. She was an avid animal lover and she never considered that she had gotten a little too close to her pet. She landed a job as a bookkeeper and managed to rent herself a nice little home in a safe neighborhood. Everything seemed to go according to plan. What better way to solve the problem than to adopt her first pet? While growing up, she had a sheepdog that she adored. Now, as an adult, she thought it would be a good idea to adopt a pet of her own. Julia didn't know much about pet care. When the symptoms started, she wished she had known more. She never could have guessed what was going on behind the scenes. Going from shelter to shelter, she began to search for the perfect pet. The tag on his cage said Bronx, and she knew she had to have him. Two days later, Julia returned to the shelter with filled out and approved adoption papers. She wasn't feeling all that lonely anymore, but she had no idea what was really going on. It was obvious that Bronx wasn't sleeping well on the floor at all. In the course of a week, he seemed to grow very attached to Julia, never leaving her side. But when she woke up one morning, she realized that there was something strange in her bed. She felt fur against her skin and quickly realized what it was. Bronx preferred sleeping next to her on her bed. She had a queen-size bed, which meant that there was more than enough space for the two of them. All she had to do was make sure that her pooch was groomed regularly and change her sheets daily. This might seem like a lot of work, but she thought it was worth it for his comfort. Julia got out of bed and tried to snap Bronx out of it, but it was as if he was in some kind of trance. He was watching the bed and wouldn't take his gaze away. She needed to find out what he was so fixated on. She decided that the only way to find out would be to set up cameras to figure out what he was doing. But she wouldn't know how harrowing the truth is. Julia bought some cameras from her local security shop and set them up in her bedroom. She knew that she would find out what he was doing in the middle of the night. Julia went to sleep with the cameras ready to record. She slept soundly that night, knowing she would soon find out what was going on with her new dog. The next morning, she woke up early before work and saw that Bronx was doing the exact same thing. She turned on her laptop, but once she saw what he was doing, there was no going back. Julia arrived at the vet with her dog by her side and was ready to finally find out what was going on. She walked into the vet's office and put Bronx on the exam table. The vet walked in and greeted her before getting to work. He examined Bronx and even watched the recording that Julia had transferred to her phone. All of the questions made her a little uneasy. What was he really getting at? Unfortunately, it would be a difficult week waiting for the truth. That night, Julia didn't know whether she should let Bronx sleep in her bed or not. He had done nothing wrong, but she was just a little creeped out by everything that had happened. Julia saw the kitchen window was broken, and she ran out, but Bronx was long gone. The day dragged on, and Julia felt worse than she did before she adopted Bronx. All she wanted was to have some company, but it seemed that she managed to push that away too. At that point, she was praying for it to be anything but what she thought it was. A million things passed through her mind at once. Julia heard that cats would often bring their owners some kind of critter they caught, and she was really hoping it wasn't a rat or bird. What is it? She asked Bronx. Her voice was shaking nearly as much as she was. He nudged her hand again, and she couldn't help but wince. Julia jumped out of bed and ran to her bathroom. Julia let out a sigh of relief at the sight. She was so worried that Bronx had hurt him, that she never considered what the other options could be. If only she knew how much trouble the puppy would cause. 
Bronx must have found it when he was out exploring, and he probably brought it home because he knew it needed help. Julia sighed, not knowing what she would face when she woke up. Julia took some allergy medication and went about her day. The medication must have worked since she had completely forgotten about her hands by the time she got home. But later that night, things took a turn for the worse. Julia realized that her camera was still recording and decided to watch the footage once again. There might be a clue on there that would explain her new condition. She watched the footage and noticed something different or was it because he was jealous of the new pup? She made her way to the doctor's office and was swiftly taken into the examining room. But just like the vet, her doctor had his concerns. The doctor did a thorough examination, paying special attention to her hands. He even went as far as to do an allergy test, but it didn't take him very long to give up. The doctor's frown wasn't caused by his diagnosis, it was caused by the fact that he didn't have a diagnosis. He had no idea what was causing her symptoms. The doctor had never seen or heard of such a thing in his life, and he simply had no idea how to treat it. He started asking questions about the puppy, and Julia told him as much as she could. But seeing the look in his eyes really had her concerned. What had he seen that concerned him so much? It looked like the doctor was deeply concerned about what he had just seen. The doctor told Julia that he suspected that she might have picked up the illness from the puppy and that she had to have him tested to see exactly what it was that was causing her symptoms. Without those test results, there would be no definitive way to treat her. What the doctor said really scared her. She had no idea what was wrong with her, and she was afraid of what would happen if they couldn't uncover the source. Would she really end up in the hospital? Julia asked the doctor what would happen if she didn't get treatment soon. The doctor wasn't just going to send Julia on her way though. He gave her a prescription for medication that would lessen her symptoms and told her to get to the vet right away. Julia explained what had happened while she was waiting for the results and showed the vet the puppy Bronx brought home that night. The vet carefully put the puppy down on the exam table, keeping his distance the entire time, and started checking it. He checked its ears, eyes, and throat before running a few blood tests and taking a full-body x-ray. Unable to contain her anxiety any longer, she turned to the vet and asked how long this batch of tests would take. But what he said caught her completely off guard. The vet told Julia that he couldn't let that puppy leave with her. She was confused by his reaction. At this point, Julia had reached her limits. Nobody was telling her what was going on because they all wanted more tests or results from the tests they had already conducted. But she was fed up. She wanted answers, and she wouldn't be leaving without them. The vet politely asked Julia to calm down. He might have already found out what was wrong, but he needed the test results to confirm it. However, Julia couldn't take it anymore. She was angry and afraid. She needed concrete answers, and it felt like she couldn't afford the few minutes it would take to get them. But before he did that, he sent the puppy to the kennel. The vet told Julia that the puppy was riddled with infection since it was a stray with no mother to look after it. Everything that could be. Caught at that point, the puppy was the least of Julia's concerns. Her health was her top priority, and in her mind, that made sense since she couldn't cover the puppy's medical costs while lying in a hospital bed. The truth of what was going on was pretty simple. Bronx had been watching Julia sleep. As he had a traumatic upbringing, he had brought the puppy home because he felt neglected when Julia locked him in the kitchen. But he soon realized that the ill puppy could harm her, and he wanted to prevent that. It was so much for Julia to take in, and she knew that it would take a while before it was processed. Julia raised her concerns with the vet, but he informed her that her condition was beyond his realm of expertise. However, he was more than willing to offer her doctor an explanation of what he found. As soon as she let Bronx into the house, Julia called the doctor. 
She asked the secretary if they could have a telephone consultation, and the secretary agreed since Julia was willing to pay the consultation fee. Julia was anxious from the doctor's tone. She could tell that this was far worse than she thought it would be. It was clear that the medication he had given her wouldn't combat this specific bacterium. Within 15 minutes, Julia was sitting in the examination room, and blood was being drawn for the tests. The doctor assured her that she wouldn't have to wait long to get the results as they already knew what was wrong. The doctor finally understood that Julia was afraid and explained his concerns. While they waited, Julia finally understood what kind of predicament she was in, and it did nothing to provide her with comfort. In fact, it made her feel even worse. Julia had a ton of questions about her condition, and she started rambling as she ticked things off. The doctor assured her that her fertility wouldn't be in jeopardy, but he also told her that the risk of reinfection was quite high. However, there were ways to combat it. Luckily, the situation wasn't as grim as he first assumed it would be. With a sigh of relief, Julia thanked the doctor. Now that she knew that she wasn't in any danger, she felt better than she had in weeks. The doctor prescribed some strong antibiotics and informed Julia of what she could do to prevent reinfection. Julia did exactly what the doctor ordered, and on her way home, she stopped at the pet store. She loved Bronx to death, but there was no way he was going to sleep in her bed anymore. He did bring the puppy home to make peace after all, and the aspiring mom couldn't just let the little pup make its way through the world alone. A woman who was hit by a car for speeding was in for the worst, but then a dog miraculously showed up. In Georgia, there is a quaint town. Shannon lived in this quiet place for a long time, and she remembers living in the home with her husband, who, like everyone else in the community, lived together. Until January 26, Shannon experienced a life-changing event. That night, she and her husband had a fight, and while quarrels are common in marriages, the escalation accelerated and Shannon struggled to cope. After the argument, Shannon wanted a little privacy, so she left the house and headed for her car, which was freezing cold due to the cooling at night. She jumped into the car and left quickly. Although she has many years of driving experience and knows the traffic rules, she doesn't want to think about safety at all because she is very angry. It seemed like an outlet, so she picked up the pace. She drove faster and faster, her heart pounding against her chest. If you go to Georgia, you will notice that there are large forests in this area, the state has a lot of lush trees. While such views are often admired, they can sometimes be a source of distress for travelers or drivers. Known for its long, winding roads, combined with countless trees, one should exercise caution, especially when driving the famous Nazca roads. Shannon finally took that road. Although she heard that traffic accidents in this area are prone to occur, the emotions and the quarrel still made her very angry. Safety was not her first consideration, and and Shannon still on the windy path. When she first approached a dangerous bend, she was able to steer the car without issue before she needed to turn again, which she quickly learned. Shannon recalled, when I came into the second corner, the car wasn't the same as it was in the previous turn. This time the rear of the car was broken. Shannon was thrown from the driver's seat and through the car's rear glass. When the poor woman awoke again, her head hit the glass and she was unconscious. Her mind was spinning, she couldn't foresee the situation she was in because everything was a blur, she could feel her legs in the back seat, her body in an uncomfortable position, she was trapped. Because my car hit a tree, anyone passing by couldn't see me, Shannon said. Her car slammed into a tree suddenly and violently, only to be noticed when people stopped and walked. Cars were flying by, and people couldn't see how messed up the place was. Shannon realized that no one was coming for her, and she panicked, thinking of her husband and their argument, and regretting driving to where she was now. 
She was so weak that she cried with all her might when Shannon was about to give up. A curious dog suddenly approached the car as a stray dog rescued the dying woman from a car crash. She was convinced that she would be trapped there forever and no one would find her until she was unconscious. Reflecting on the moment, Shannon said, I didn't know if it was making the rounds, I didn't know if it was going back to its original owner, but it met me and I thank God it did. The dog dragged her she walked more than 100 feet to get help, and thanks to this amazing act of kindness, the woman was saved. The mysterious animal dragged her from a tree to a meadow and eventually they reached an area next to a road. Shannon had a better chance of being rescued on the side of the road because drivers were more likely to see her. However, Shannon still felt she needed to do more and lay on the ground waiting for a car to come by. Encouraged by the furry animal, Shannon attempted to drag herself away from the bushes. She struggled at first, but the dog didn't give up on her, so it got close to her and bent down slightly, as if sticking out its neck towards her. Shannon put his arm around the dog's neck and pulled as hard as she could, standing up for the first time since the crash. She could feel the wind on her hair and skin, it was a cold night and she didn't have many clothes on. The thought of the dog walking on for her warmed her heart, but they stood together, waiting for someone to come. A car finally came when Shannon grabbed the dog. It was dark and she couldn't see very well, so she couldn't tell what kind of car it was. Still, Shannon was overjoyed when the car pulled up to where she and the dog were. With all her strength, she leaned through the window and asked the passengers for help. She almost cried, she said, I just crashed the car, can you call my husband? She used a lot of strength for Shannon's fragile body, but she soon fainted again fall down. She was unconscious, and the stranger in the car quickly called and offered her the help she needed. When Shannon opened her eyes some time later, she found herself lying on a hospital bed. After she woke up, a doctor came to her soon after, recalling what had happened to her. Although Shannon was still hazy in her sleep, she could make out the doctor's worried expression. The doctor said her name discreetly, Shannon, you've got a bit of a brain bleed. After hearing the nerve-wracking news, the doctors and nurses had to figure out whether their new patient needed surgery. A brain hemorrhage can be serious, so they need to make the best decision possible to make sure Shannon is okay. While she waited, Shannon lay in bed, and while she had been resting, her thoughts returned to the fight, the car crash and the dog that had saved her life. Everything that had happened in the past 24 hours seemed like a dream. Hours passed before the doctor returned to Shannon's room. Fortunately, the doctors confirmed that the bleeding was not significant and as long as she kept resting, her body would heal itself, meaning she didn't need any expensive or dangerous surgery and she could return to the home comfortably under the care of her husband. Shannon was able to fully recover because of everything the dog did, it was a fantastic animal. If he hadn't saved me, I wouldn't be here today, Shannon said. She was full of praise for the dog, even though Shannon initially thought the dog had an owner and that it had just gotten lost. Yet after such a heroic act, they could no longer ignore the dog. The dog was taken in by the Humane Society as Shannon recovered from his injuries. This dog has attracted a lot of attention, and he was lucky enough to be adopted. Since then, it has been given a name that many consider to be the perfect expression of its character. He was named Hero, and Heidi was adopted by Heidi Drudy. This woman is a canine search and rescue instructor and she couldn't have been a better owner of this rescue dog. Heidi immediately began training Hero, who she plans to become a certified search and rescue dog. A search and rescue dog that's ready to go, we're training it right now, and it's doing a really good job, Heidi explained. It's amazing to think that a hero can be there to find someone in need. Without any kind of training, everyone can see how pure it is inside, Shannon shared in the interview. The video was quickly uploaded to the internet and has amassed thousands of views. Towards the end of the video, Shannon burst into tears as she thanked the dog for helping her, it will always be my hero. If you enjoyed hearing this miracle story, 
Please like it below and subscribe for more.